Starting in 1961, Lincoln went away from a separate frame and body and went to a unibody construction, uh, allowing the car to have center opening or suicide doors. And because it's a unibody construction, there is no separate frame. There are parts of the car that act as the frame. That allows the car to have a very smooth or slab-sided look. The car was always intended to be like a floating living room. You know, this car was designed to be easy, comfortable, uh, secure, whether you were driving it by yourself or with five other people on board, everyone had plenty of room, everybody could be very comfortable in the car. Most cars in the 60s had leather seats, all the convertibles did, and it was an option that most of the sedans took. Very high quality, thick leather that lasts for many, many years. You left your, uh, your big chair in the living room and went to your big chair in your Lincoln, and it felt the same. They liked the look of, of subdued elegance statement without being overly flashy and it's a car that is timeless uh, for that reason. Starting in the 60s you got enough of a blend of technology where you had a very large car you know the convertibles weigh almost 6,000 pounds substantial sheet metal substantial safety in the bumpers and the balance of the car but also a lot of modern conveniences power steering power brakes power windows six-way seat all the type of conveniences that people are used to today the 430 and 462 engines are amazing engines they're nearly bulletproof they're extremely uh, easy to maintain, um, they've got sufficient horsepower to get the car out of its own way, and they don't require any special care and feeding. Uh, on average, you'll get 10 to 15 miles a gallon uh, around town or on the highway, so if you're looking for a long-distance commuter, this car probably wouldn't fit the bill. And on the highways at 75 miles an hour, the car cruises very well and it steers and stops very well for a large luxury automobile. It's not a sports car. It was never intended to be a great cornering vehicle, uh, nor was it ever intended to be the fastest car off the line. But if you're looking for a large, comfortable, quality automobile, this car really fits the bill extremely well. The history of the Lincoln is attractive. People often associate it with the Kennedy era, Camelot, when there was a lot of optimism. There was uh, a time when people really thought that the world could change in a better way. And there also seems to be an attachment um, to the car with you know, certain points in people's lives, you know, where their grandfather had one, their uncle had one, or, you know, the, the guy down the street had a Lincoln, and you always remember seeing it drive up and down the road, always hoping someday you'd get one. And I find an awful lot of people, when they get to the point in life where they can afford to, and start looking at things they might enjoy with their own friends and family. I start thinking, well, I'd like to play old car. And I remember you know, my uncle had a Lincoln, and I thought that car was the greatest. And every time he went for a ride, and I was in the back seat and went for ice cream, I thought it was the best time of my life. So